Where Poppies Blow, The British Soldier, Nature, The Great War, by John Lewis Temple offers a poignant exploration of the complex relationship between British soldiers, nature, and the unprecedented horrors of World War I. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the book's central themes, its portrayal of nature, and the emotional impact it leaves on readers. Lewis Temple's work serves as a stark reminder of the profound effects of World War I on the soldiers who fought in it. While traditional war narratives often focus on the strategic aspects of battles, this book veers in a different direction, illuminating the soldiers' intimate connection with nature. The title, Where Poppies Blow, is derived from a line in the World War I poem in Flanders Fields, emphasizing the omnipresence of nature amidst the chaos of war. This theme of nature's resilience and its interplay with the human condition takes center stage. The book meticulously chronicles the soldier's interactions with the natural world, revealing how it acted as both a solace and a source of despair. The author highlights how nature provided the soldiers with a much-needed connection to their homeland, offering them solace in the form of familiar flora and fauna. The descriptions of birds, flowers, and landscapes create a stark contrast with the horrors of trench warfare, emphasizing nature's capacity to suit the soldiers' frayed nerves. Lewis Temple underscores the paradox of finding beauty in nature's smallest details within the brutality of war. Moreover, the author eloquently describes how nature played a crucial role in maintaining the soldier's sanity and preserving their sense of identity. It was, in essence, a tether to the world they had left behind. Their observations of nature, whether watching a skylark ascend or marveling at the delicacy of a butterfly, served as poignant reminders of the life they once knew and hoped to return to. Lewis Temple argues that this connection to nature was vital for the soldiers' mental well-being, as it provided a respite from the horrors of the trenches. Despite its role in comforting and preserving the soldiers' humanity, nature also became a witness to their suffering. Lewis Temple vividly portrays how the natural world bore witness to the war's brutality, with its rivers running red and its fields marred by craters and unexploded shells. The book paints a vivid picture of the desolation and devastation inflicted upon the land, highlighting the irony of nature's ability to endure even as it documented the destruction. The emotional impact of Where Poppies Blow is profound. Lewis Temple's writing is both poetic and heartrending. The reader is confronted with the harsh realities of war, coupled with the enduring beauty of nature. The juxtaposition of these themes serves to intensify the emotional resonance of the text. The author's deep research and vivid storytelling make it impossible not to empathize with the soldiers who found solace in the natural world amid the chaos of war. Additionally, the book's attention to detail and its focus on personal narratives make the war's scale and devastation tangible. By recounting individual soldiers' experiences and their connections to nature, Lewis Temple humanizes the war and its participants, making it a deeply personal and emotional journey for the reader. Where Poppies Blow transcends the boundaries of a conventional historical account. It is not merely a documentation of events, but a meditation on the enduring human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. It underscores the soldier's resilience and the role of nature in helping them endure the unendurable. In conclusion, John Lewis Temple's Where Poppies Blow offers a unique and emotionally charged perspective on World War I. By focusing on the relationship between British soldiers and nature, the book highlights the soldiers' vulnerability and the beauty that persisted amidst the horrors of war. It is a powerful reminder of the human capacity to find solace in nature even in the most trying circumstances and the enduring impact of war on the human psyche. The book's evocative prose and in-depth research make it a moving exploration of the Great War and its indelible mark on those who live through it.